We're ready to dive into baseball season, folks. And that is a beautiful thing. And that definitely means warm weather is on the way. Uh, we want to welcome the man whose voice you hear anytime you go to the ballpark. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dan Baker. Yeah. 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 Dan, Thank you, Preston and Steve. Great to have you back, sir. It's going to be nice to get uh, the season rolling, is it not? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> To Citizens Bank Park, yes. home of the Philadelphia Phillies. I love it. I like man. that. That just, I already feel warmer. Yeah. Just hearing that. <laughs> it better be warm, Dan. Uh, but listen, uh, joining Dan is the president of this uh, charity, of which an event is coming up they're going to talk about. It's called Homers for Hope, and we welcome uh, John Durso here. Yeah. 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 John, good morning, sir. Hey, good morning, guys. Thanks for having us. Uh, our pleasure. Now, the event that I'm speaking of is not coming up till June, June 15th. June 15th, yeah. And uh, tell us a little bit about it. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of, of what this event is, uh, tell us about the uh, the charity Homers for Hope and what that benefits. Well, quickly, you know what? Last year, you guys had us on, and thank you so much, because we ended up getting, I think, seven adult players. Total In total, they raised $6,000 for the charity, so Fantastic. your listeners were very, very generous. Very cool. And we found a family. Um, to benefit last year's, and so for that, I wanted to give you guys a official uh, home plate Preston oh, and Steve show that's uh, great. award. That's awesome. what a beautiful so thank black. you guys very much for being supportive of our cause. We're a very new charity; we're only about three years old, and what we do is raise money through athletic events, primarily home run derbies. But the money goes to could be your neighbor. I mean, any family that has had some kind of tragedy that they are struggling right now to pay their bills will help them pay a month or two of their bills. It's a little more focused, so it's not, and, and it, which is a good thing. You can go with the uh, the macro and the micro, and sometimes you know it, it's good to just be able to say, okay, I'm helping this family, I'm helping these families, and attach names and faces. And, and, and you know, it's, there's an aspect to that that I really like. So, um, how many families will be will benefit from this event coming up? Four or five? Yeah. Well, this the, last year we had four or five. We found that we want to be more effective, right? Okay, so this year so we had two. Okay. But in in the last two years we've raised twenty one thousand dollars for eleven families in total. So we're 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 crawling before we're walking, but it's still you know yeah. got a head of steam, and we got a great guy like Dan backing us up. And, um, you well, know, it's fantastic. And this stuff. type of thing, you, you, you start at a certain level, and as it progresses and, and goes on, you hopefully you're, you're helping uh, 20 and 25 and 50 yeah. families as the years continue on. We so. added a softball division this year, first time. So we have, uh, in the morning, we're going to have a softball home run derby. In the mid-afternoon, it'll be high school baseball and adult amateur baseball. Cool. And then at the end of the day, we're going to have a celebrity softball game, which, uh, again, I, I, I've been challenging Casey every year to be involved <laughs> in this thing somehow. Now i got a softball game, so I'm just trying to get every angle. Yeah, you know what? I wasn't able to come out the, the, the last couple of years, but uh, you got to me early, so I do believe uh, I'll be able to make it we'll to see. the softball game. This Dan, year. Dan, will you be making? We be announcing people's names and so forth at the games. I will, That's and cool. I've announced Casey before at Citizens Bank Park. I've seen him put on a hitting display, <laughs> a, uh, a at, clinic uh, if, uh, a cl- at not Citizens Bank Park. Year. <laughs> but a couple of years ago, man, I hit the warning track, and that that's, that's pretty that's, that's a pretty awesome. big deal. Yeah, yeah. Last year, I, I didn't even get it out of infield. Well, one thing that was amazing from last year, which we did, we, we have a final pitch payout, which uh, thanks to Rudder Roofing and RudderRoofing.com, we have a hitting challenge for the champion of each division. They have a chance to win 2000 bucks if they can perform a hitting challenge at the end. So anybody who's on the fence about that, hopefully we can entice you to come out and uh, go to our website, homersforhope.org, and register. Very okay. cool. And like we said, the event is Saturday, June 15th, and that's going to be at Campbell's Field, which is a great place, home of the River Sharks, of course. So if you want to get involved, we have it up on uh, PrestonandSteve.com, a real quick uh, link to that. Uh, real quick, I do have a Phillies question for you, Dan. Uh, have you personally seen up close the Cole Hamels mustache yet, or uh, is that just been from afar? Uh, from afar. Oh, I was okay. I was in Florida for a few days, but uh, uh, I saw him down there when he had the beard, mm-hmm. uh, and... Um, so anyway, uh, I think Cole's going to have a great year. Yeah. Despite that uh, opening, Just, well, he night shaved loss. the mustache, and that's that's what the problem was. Oh, okay. I think uh, you shaved the mustache. The, it's a Samson sort runs. of thing. Mm-hmm. I got you. The mm-hmm. power's in the hair. All right, we got it. Yeah. I like it. It's, we're, we're it's kind of porn stash right looking. Now. It's yeah. very porn stash looking, but uh, <laughs> the man can pull it off. He yeah. absolutely can. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll point people in the direction to obviously get on board this and, and you're looking for anybody. Is there an age restriction? I mean, you have different categories. I do know that. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you, if you can pick up a bat and raise money, you come on out, you know, okay. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, for softball, it's pretty much anybody, the high school, like I said, there's a high school division and an adult amateur. So we're not looking for, you know, semi-professional, professional, anybody who's been paid to mm-hmm. play 
eh, you know, we don't want any ringers. We want to have some fun with these guys. But I'll tell you what, they can launch the ball. We had a guy hit it over the center field fence at the base of the bridge last year. Really? Very it nice. is no joke. I mean, yeah. if wow. you want to see a lot, of, it's like the Final Four, right? You're non-professional people really yeah. passionate about what they do. Come check us out. It's a lot of fun. Dan, do you ever get out and swing the bat at these events? No. 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 At one time, I was a pretty good athlete. Yeah? Uh, I still walk a lot. Uh, but uh, I don't know about the hand-eye coordination anymore, uh, but I enjoy announcing them. Uh, I'm yeah, sure. that's yeah. the safest it's place gotta to be. <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting, it's comfortable, yeah, it's much better. And uh, home opener's on uh, Friday, right? This Friday, and yeah. it's, it will be an American League team, the Kansas City Royals, yeah. 4 o'clock start. And uh, I know that Casey and uh, Nick, you guys are going to be there as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I haven't, um, well, I haven't been to a Phillies game in months. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you decided to sit out the winter. Yeah. You know what? I haven't been in a long time. It's it's been over a year. Yeah. So uh, I'm looking forward to it as excited. well. Excited! I can't believe we're we're ready to dive into yeah, it. Man. It's yeah. pretty awesome. All right, I, homersforhope.org. Yes, Dan. I was going to say the Phillies have something to prove. Yeah, uh, yeah. having won five straight NL East crowns yep. and then being. Uh, uh, replaced by Washington last year, yeah. but with the injuries to Chase Utley and Ryan Howard for half the year, mm-hmm. Roy Halladay for two months, and even when Roy Halladay was pitching, it wasn't the Roy Halladay, uh, the dominating pitcher that we've known for the past decade. Right. So we'll see what happens this year with the healthy Phillies uh, versus those two good teams, Washington and Atlanta. Very Excited exciting. For it. All right, homersforhope.org. Thank you uh, both for being here. John Durso and Dan Baker. And sign up. It's a, it's a really good cause. All right.